cat. I'm name it Bobby. Hey, Bobby. What's up guys, my name is Bruno Rodriguez and this is Flickin' a Flash with today's review over Martin Scorsese's new crime drama, The Irishman. Guys, I'm back here in Waco, I had a great time in Cancun, great vacation. In all honesty, I was planning on doing the review while I was in Cancun with the beach in the background or something. But, you know, decided to relax instead. So here we are, so let's get on with the review. This movie was directed by Martin Scorsese and stars Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Joe Pesci. You know, the guy from Home Alone. Yeah. <laughs> this movie is a three and a half hour epic crime drama that released on Netflix and a few select theaters, which unfortunately were not anywhere near me, so I wasn't able to see it on the big screen. But I did have the benefit of clicking pause however many times I wanted and going to the bathroom or whatever, because it is a long movie. Three and a half hour, like three and a half hours, that's just unheard of. And I've actually been thinking a lot about that because honestly, people can watch three and a half hours worth of TV any day. Like, you put on The Office and you can watch that for four hours straight. It's not really the length that bothers people. Usually in a movie like this, it's not that it's too long, but rather that it's just slow or the pacing is bad. And this movie, as long as it was, I can't really imagine cutting it down a whole lot. Martin Scorsese is an excellent director and he knows what to put and what to cut from the movie. And honestly, who am I to say what shouldn't have been on the movie? Everything that was there was there for a reason. Could it have been cut down a little bit? Sure. But I understand him wanting to keep everything because it does pan out to give a really complete movie at the end. Now, like I said, the pacing was good. I was never really bored. But you know the first two acts are just a setup for the third one. And the third act is for sure my favorite one. Now this movie is being narrated by Frank Sheeran, Robert De Niro's character, near the beginning of the movie. It's over. They're all gone. 
Frank, it's time. It's time you say what happened. <laughs> and it kind of cuts back and forth through time, so you really get to see all the de-aging effects done to these three great actors as they're like younger and then middle-aged and then that's like they're really old. And honestly, I have no complaints about the CGI and de-aging technology. I thought it looked flawless. It never took me out of the experience then again. I never really grew up with these actors. I've only seen them in other films when they were younger, so I don't have as much of a connection to them when they were younger. So I'm guessing a lot of older audiences might have noticed it a little more, maybe being like, that's not really how they looked 30 years ago. For me, I didn't really have a big problem with it. I thought it looked great and I bought it. Now let's talk about these actors. I know I don't want to seem redundant. I know every reviewer has already mentioned this, but these actors did such a phenomenal job with these performances. Robert De Niro and Al Pacino and John Pesci, I mean, like all of these three great legends in a movie together is just priceless. The main standout for me was Robert De Niro. He played a really serious character that didn't really let much emotion show. And in my opinion, I feel like those are the hardest characters to really portray because you want to make sure that the audience really feels what you want them to feel. And when your character's not really showing that emotion, I think that can be kind of challenging to get right. Now the character, the main character, Frank Sharon, the guy that this movie is revolved around. Well, actually, first of all, this movie is based on real life or well, kind of, it's a Hollywood movie and it's based on another book about Frank Sharon's confession about what may have happened in the past. So as far as how accurate it is, but is it entertaining? Definitely yes. I mean, looking at Martin Scorsese's track record and everything, you can tell this is a movie for him to direct. Now, my main problem with the movie is actually, I think, with the character, the main character, Frank Sharon. I would have liked to see more into his psyche in the first two acts of the movie. It was really hard to tell what he was feeling and how he ended up becoming this hitman for this mob. Because at first, he's just a normal guy, and suddenly he's not, and now he's a killer, and then he's, you know... Yes. Hiya, Frank. This is Jimmy Hoffa. I heard you paint houses. I did love how they wrapped it up in the end. You can see that everything in his past just weighs him down. He feels the regrets. He feels the weight of it. I know I wasn't a good dad. I know that. I know that. I was just trying to protect all of you. From what? You didn't see what I see, what I've been through. And I just, I feel like I would have loved to see more of that through the first two acts. Having said that, I do recognize that those first two acts were more of a setup for the big emotional punch that the third act brings. That's really all I have to say about this movie. It was, of course, beautifully shot and very well directed. The cinematography was, of course, beautiful, very stunning. The de-aging didn't bother me. The acting was great. Great story. Very entertaining. And I'm going to give this movie a 4 out of 5 stars. Now, I noticed some people in social media were saying that you should just split it up into four episodes. You know, little bits of 50 minute shows and you can consider it a mini series and you can get it done, you know? If you just think about it like that, you can binge it, the series in one night and you'll be okay. It's not for everyone, but I do really recommend that you check it out. You're probably gonna have to check it out on Netflix. I don't think it's in theaters anymore. Guys, thank you all so much for watching this review and the vlog in the beginning. I hope you really enjoyed this video. These type of vlogs do take longer to like record and edit and everything, but I really enjoy making them. So if you guys don't mind, please make sure to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. If you have already seen the movie, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. If you enjoyed this sort of content, please make sure to subscribe and check out my latest videos. And as always, drop a like and drop in later.